I'm Leo Wood of the Kit Guru. Kit Guru Tech, the YouTube channel of kitguru.net, is about to hit 100,000 subscribers. And I have to admit, we're fairly excited about that. The thing is, there's no reason why you should give a good goddamn. It's our excitement, not yours. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bribe you with a PC built from £3,800 worth of components. Add in my time, call it £1,200, it's a five grand PC for free. Can't argue with that, can you? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk at you for a little while about KitGuru on YouTube, and then I'm going to go through all these components, plus a number of other things that are off camera, because there's just not enough space here. In essence, there are two types of tech tube channels. There are companies such as the Linus Empire, you've got Gordon and the team at PC World, which is part of IDG, Richard at Digital Foundry, which is part of Eurogamer. If the familiar faces on those channels were to move on, the channel would continue, but there's no denying the channel would change significantly. In the case of Linus, he started that channel with a borrowed camcorder and he's changed the industry single-handedly. The fact he could choose to retire without killing Linus Tech Tips is entirely down to his hard work and frankly his vision. And then we've got the small teams. They may operate under a name such as Paul, Kyle, Jays, Marcus Brownlee, or they choose a name for the channel, but essentially it's one person that appears time after time. Gamers Nexus, Tech Testers, Hardware Unboxed, if the main person from any of those channels was to leave or find a new job or fall ill, who knows what would happen to the channel? You have to imagine it would just grind to a halt. Kit Guru falls somewhere in the middle of those two scenarios as we are primarily a tech website that spawned a YouTube channel. And as a result, most of our videos are reviews that offer buying advice. KitGuru.net started 10 years ago. They also started a YouTube channel called KitGuru Tech, this very YouTube channel. However, that YouTube channel did very little for four years. You may not be aware, but the two people responsible for starting KitGuru have not appeared in any of the videos on KitGuru Tech. Or put it another way, none of the people you see on screen are KitGuru. And yes, Kit Guru borrowed the idea from Charlie's Angels. The reason I've been chosen to make this video by Kit Guru's own Charlie, or as we call him, Alan, is that in 2014 I started writing reviews for Kit Guru, and I did a tiny snippet of video for a Bluetooth speaker in July 2014 to illustrate the written review. After all, how do you write about speakers? It's much easier to show it in video. And oh looky here, we've actually got some bass. And after that, it was decided to try running some full video reviews, which we did in, I think it was November 2014. Currently, we have myself, Dominic, Luke, James, Andy and Christina appearing in videos. The thing is, in the great scheme of things, the 100k target is small potatoes, even by British standards. But it makes us happy. I have to wonder, when Gamers Nexus inevitably hits the 1 million mark, what are they going to do as a celebration? It had better be something big. Anyway, I've kept you hanging on. So, about that PC. We're building the PC inside the Fantex Eclipse P500A case I recently reviewed, which has been upgraded with the Fantex SK PWM fans that you saw in that review. And Fantex has sent us the fan hub that we thought should have been part of the case in the first instance. This is the ultimate Eclipse P500A. Inside the PC, you'll find an ASRock B550 Tai Chi motherboard, an AMD Ryzen 7 3700X CPU. Graphics are provided by NVIDIA. It's a Founders Edition RTX 2080 Ti. We've got 32 gigabytes of G-Skill Trident Z Neo running at 3600 MHz, and a one terabyte Keoxia Xeria M.2 SSD. The Fantex Eclipse P500A is an airflow monster, so we're sticking with air cooling. The CPU cooler is from Zalman and is their CNPS 20X that we reviewed a couple of months ago. Power is provided by Seasonic. It's a prime titanium 1000 watt PSU. AOC has provided a C27G2ZU monitor. That's a curved 27 inch unit, full HD resolution, 240 hertz refresh. Corsair provided us with a total of 795 pounds of peripherals. We've got their Virtuoso headset, a K95 Platinum XT keyboard, the new IQ Nexus companion screen, 
a dark core pro SE mouse, RGB in the LS100 and LT100 starter sets, and an MM800C RGB Polaris mouse mat. First stage of the build is to prepare the motherboard. We've got the motherboard, processor, memory, SSD, and cooler. It's finished and it runs 3D Mark Firestrike like a champ. If you're watching the video closely, you'll have seen me using my Dremel to modify the mounting bracket for the Zalman because that bracket interfered with the backplate for the ASRock motherboard. What fun, eh? Anyway, that's all done, so you haven't got to worry about that. The PC looks good, it's got loads of RGB, it runs Firestrike like a champ, and it's free to one of you lucky viewers. Perhaps I should address you individually. It might be you. There'll be a link below this video to tell you how to go about entering the draw. But meanwhile, PC done, someone's gonna win it, and Kick Guru is hitting 100,000 subscribers. On that note, I'm trusting you have subscribed, but if you haven't, subscribe and hit the bell button. I'm Lee Wood for Kick Guru. One lucky Kick Guru viewer is gonna win this PC.